there. Welcome back to the Stout House to see what we got going on. First things first, I want to apologize for being MIA for quite a while. I've been pretty busy at work, and with the small house projects that I've been tackling, I just didn't have time to edit. But I've been trying to do my best to continue filming along the way so you wouldn't miss out on all the little details. At the very beginning of this video, I shared clips from the last video update of the house project where we left off. I'll try to link that video in the description so you can take a peek at that. As you can already tell in this first minute of the video, we've made a lot of progress since our last update. And I'm happy to report that we are in the home stretch. Sorry for my somber face, just tired and focused. So this is my resting face. Okay, I'm gonna put some music on and speed things up so you don't have to literally watch the paint dry. I'll be back to chat with you later. Enjoy. Okay, it's a beautiful day. Let's go outside and work on the roof.
give you a little update. Get some lights on here for you. Not too many, but okay. So we have some trim painted here. Sorry, had to clean my lens. This is going to be for um, the window frames and some of it is for the door frames, but we have to wait until the flooring is done. So we have some um, trim painted here. I can see I need to maybe touch this up here a little bit. I don't know if you could see that. The lights are in, so we got the inspection for the final electric. Let me turn the light on here for the kitchen. I'm still learning where all the switches are. It's funny because we, we joke because it's my house, but I don't know where all the lights are yet. Okay, so the kitchen is completely installed and they did the tile um, the other day. I'm not really sure. I was actually dreaming about this. You know, when you have a project, you just keep thinking about it. And I'm not really sure what happened here that this didn't line up, but it is what it is. I'm not going to stress about it, right? So the trim should come ish to the edge of this ish. Um, and then take care of the side. And then of course the tile on top is completely fine. Oh, I see they put the light switch plates on. That's great. And uh, we went with the black to keep the farmhouse feel. And this is our countertop. And then we have, um, of course the appliances, which I showed you last video update I think I showed it in that it's over in our storage area the appliances are over there I gotta obviously clean all of this up I just was waiting to not touch anything um, so a little grout touched up there this is um, the handles for the drawers and these are gonna go wherever there's a drawer okay so and then um, I can show you when I go back over to the house, um, I have my knobs that are gonna go on any of the doors um, over there. I painted them yesterday. We did put the microwave in, they got that taken care of because it doesn't matter with the floor. And um, yeah, I don't know where all of my papers went here from my kitchen. I wanted to kind of see in the plan if there was a spacer or something that was supposed to go in, you know, between or something to equal this out, but I don't even know where my plans are. So the water is working, but um, we turned it off because no one was gonna be in here all weekend. And so just in case there were any leaks, we didn't want to have it on. So this one will be filtered water. And this is just, of course, for regular, um, kitchen use and then we have to put the knobs on of course um, it's you can't even hardly get in here you have to get from an area here so we have to set the lazy Susans up so there's one here and one there and then these cabinets are just cornered but there are shelves um, over there so like we have like final detail stuff and of course the molding will go around the window and I I got a light for up here um, and miscommunication we'll just say it that way they put a box in for that kind of light um, recess light and it was a little bit smaller but matched that so I'm a little sad that that's not there because I wanted to bring a little bit of character to the kitchen but it is what it is okay and then the other bummer is that this door opens this way in the perfect world it would open the other way but it didn't come with an option and then this handle will go on here pull it out of the bag for you sorry if you don't like that rustle sound so they're pretty long but i don't want to lose the screws or whatever so i just I'm keeping it all together until they are ready to put them in. And then of course the shelves are in here, so that'll all go up in here, okay? So light there, I don't have that one on. I don't know if this switch over here. I have to go around and um, with my label maker, make um, labels for the switches. Bathroom light, that's just the vent. 
There we go. Ooh, that's really bright. Sorry about that. I'm going to turn it off because it's such a glare, which you can see. Okay. And then I don't remember if last time I showed you, I think I did the tile, but they just put um, this in yesterday. Little niche there. This is the shower. We're contemplating. Can you give me your opinion? We're contemplating putting shower doors on. Um, but, you know, we're not out of project, but we're pretty close to out of money. So this is our issue. And um, but we're afraid that if we just put a curtain on here, the flooring is going to get wet. So you can leave a comment and let us know what you think. OK, um, I just I just noticed something. They did a really, really good job of matching this veining up. Wow, I'm impressed because that's that would be difficult. Like there it doesn't match. It's okay, but that really, it's just like kind of flows together. So that's really cool. Love this tile. So we got this tile at um, um, an auction, basically, um, online bidding. And then our friends went and picked that up for us. So that's good. We have some cleanup to do. That's just the veining. Um, obviously, flooring and cabinets we have over in the other storage area. I'm excited to show you that because that is the wow factor. I mean, I love that tile. That was one of my original things for this house. Like, I know I want that, right? So it's going to be really cool to see this cabinet. I'm excited to show you that. So let me get this light off. Wrong light switch. I'm going to get it figured out. And then upstairs is basically the same thing, but just a quick update here. So we're working on trim right now and we're gonna get back to it uh, shortly. All right. Okay, let's get things cleaned up for the flooring crew. Now it's time to do a little walkthrough and see what we need to add to our list to complete the job.
we appreciate you following along on our renovation. Only a few more projects, final touches, and cleanup to complete. As you saw in these last clips, we were able to check a few things off of our list already, as well as completing most of the deck railing on the side of the house. It turned out better than we could imagine. Be sure to stop back soon for more updates. Sometimes our dreams can be so far off in the distance, it seems impossible to complete. But I would like to encourage you today to take the first step towards your preferred future. Don't be afraid to walk through the door of opportunity. Remember, your future awaits. See you soon.